Hello, good morning, and thank you for joining us on this Thursday morning. It's wonderful to have you with us, and I hope you've had a restful night's sleep. We join together in morning prayer from All Saints Anglican Nelson Bay. My name's Reverend Catherine, and I pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging of the Waramai people, the traditional custodians of the land. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 77, and our reading comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Let's quieten our hearts and our minds now as we come together in morning prayer. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Let's say together our opening canticle. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our psalm, Psalm 77. I call to my God, I cry out toward him. I call to my God and surely he will answer. In the day of my distress, I seek the Lord. I stretch out my hands to him by night. My soul is poured out without ceasing. It refuses all comfort. I think upon God and groan aloud. I muse and my spirit faints. You hold my eyelids open. I am so dazed that I cannot flee. I consider the times that are past. I remember the years of long ago. At night I am grieved to the heart. I ponder and my spirit makes search. Will the Lord cast us off forever? Will he show us his favour no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? And his promise come to an end for all generations? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his pity in displeasure? And I say, has the right hand of the Most High lost its strength? Has the arm of the Lord changed? I will declare the mighty acts of the Lord. I will call to mind your wonders of old. I will think on all that you have done and meditate upon your works. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God? as our God. You are the God that works wonders. You made known your power among the nations. By your mighty arm you redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water, the heavens spoke, and your arrows darted forth. The voice of your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit the world. The earth shuddered and quaked. Your way was in the sea, your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not seen. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And our reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, 
but do not love. I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I taught like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then shall I know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Let's say the canticle together, the hymn of the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only son from the father and from his fullness have we all received and grace upon grace. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let's say together the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a litany for peace. In peace let, peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy church of God, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For peace among our bishops, clergy and people, thinking especially today of Bishop Peter, Bishop Charlie and Bishop Sonia. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For peace among the leaders of the nations and those in authority, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For the peace of this city, for every city and community and for those who live in them in faith, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all evil, strife and need, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. And our morning collect. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will. And may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. See you again. Bye.